Okay, we're going to begin this one. This is actually we're going to start right here from this step, and we'll do these instructions, page 158, and we'll do these instructions. And we might get to the next one on this one. I don't know. If we do fine, if we don't, then we'll just do a little repeat there. Okay? So we're going to start here. Uh, the first thing it says to do is to select uh, the section view tool from the heads up toolbar as shown in figure blah blah blah. Hang on. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of uh, procedures to show the effect of the draft that we did on the whole. Uh, first thing that we're supposed to do here is click click on the section view. Then we're going to select the middle. Then we're going to select the reverse direction, which is that one right there. And then we're going to click on the check mark. Then on this one up here, we're going to look at the bottom. Okay, and that's what we've got. Now, when we say the effect of the draft, you see how this is uh, not 90 degrees here, this is angled just a little bit. That means that this collar, this outside collar, is, is drafted or angled very slightly. And now the purpose of this draft is to make it easier to insert on a shaft. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we click that. It gets rid of the uh, section tool. Now then, let's just click that right there. We're going to go up and click the fillet tool. Then it tells us to select the two edges that we want to apply this feature to, that one and that one. And we come over here and we set the radius to, let's see, it says 0.125 inches. 0.125. We click the check mark. Okay, now then we're going to do the same thing except to that one right there. Well, there we go. Now then we're going to change the value here to 0 0.250. Click the check mark. Click the check mark, and we're good to go. Okay, what we're going to do now is add uh, stiffening ribs. Actually, we're going to add one, and then we're going to duplicate them a number of times in a circular pattern so that it will help strengthen, uh, give strength to this part right here. Okay, first thing we're going to do according to the instructions is we're going to click on the top plane. Then we're going to, uh, well, top plane. Our little fly out thing. There, well, <laughs> there we go. Then we're going to click sketch. And normally we do things in a little bit different order, but uh, for the, what we're about to do, it's necessary to open the sketch before we uh, select the uh, desired tool. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this right here, and we're going to click on the uh, wire frame. Uh, displays, okay, hidden lines, wireframe, that one right there, okay, and then we're going to zoom in, let you do that by pressing the Z or the shift Z to zoom in, okay, okay, now then the instructions tell us to hover there until you see the little, uh, thing, then we click that, we hold down the control key, and we come down and we do the, supposed to do the same thing down here, and okay, right there, then after that we're supposed to click the silhouette, and select Convert Entities, which is right there. 
and that's what happens. Okay. Now then, we're supposed to select the line tool and move the cursor. Hang on just a minute. 